the time has come guys, it is time to venture down into the final level and deal with Diablo once and for all. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm pretty stocked up, I bought this book from Adria, and then also Elixir of Strength. Alright, let's, let's do this, let's do it. Pretty excited. Alright, let's go down to Diablo. This is the final level, level 16. Get my mana shield. And let's go. So the way this level works is that there are four corners with four levers that you need to press. And then that will open up uh, where Diablo is. And then you can fight him. Okay, so we need to like clear out everything here, first of all. There's the first lever. But I want to make sure I clear out everything before I even fight Diablo. Even though it's not necessary to do so. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And I just backed myself up into a corner. I need to be careful not to actually lose my armor here due to repairs. I didn't even think about that. I thought I could just power through that without consequences, but that's not the case. I forgot that I have limited durability on my items. Alright, let me kill these dudes. Alright, let's open up that lever. It's one of the four. Alright, man. Stupid advocates. They're pretty annoying. The Blood Knights are kind of deadly if they actually get up to you because they hit you fast enough to where they kind of paralyze you from moving away if they close the distance on you, which can be disastrous. Okay, let me take a look at my items here, actually. Alright, haven't broken anything, so I think we're okay. We put some mana potions here in my hot bar. It's gonna be important. Just have quick, easy access to them. Let's keep going. Let's keep clearing this place. I feel like we've done a lot of damage already. Kind of moved a lot more fast than I originally planned. Okay, so everything seems to be clear over in this corner. So let me head down this way and see what I can do. I'm getting a bunch of these blood knights. I don't want to get hit by them because I don't want my stuff to break, man. Okay. Let's keep chugging these potions. Might have to go back and refill eventually. Let me just... Throw a barrage of fireballs down there, hopefully kill some stuff. Doesn't look like I killed many. Got a few though. God, that is a lot of them. Sometimes I just like to go machine gun mode, even though it's not the most efficient thing to do. Man, there's a ton of these guys, man. This one does not want to die. He like... Man, he just goes away every time I fireballs near him. There we go. Ah, oh, I should have done two. I thought he only needed one more to die. There we go, he's finally down. He used way too many potions. I probably need to be a little bit more strategic about how I'm doing this as opposed to just blindly shooting as many spells as I can. Alright, got a couple over there. I have no, room. no room for that. Alright, 
that does that. Still got no room for that. Let me make some. I'll just chug that one. There you go. Now I can pick it up. They come at you, like, from an angle, and it's kind of hard to hit them. It's kind of frustrating. I just want to keep my distance more than anything. Look at that. It's kind of hard to hit them, because... I don't know. They walk at you funny. I guess I have to aim at their feet, and not necessarily their chest or head area. That seems to hit them more efficiently. A nice breastplate here. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, where's that advocate? There he is. Dude, he is like just going away way too quickly. There we go. bunch of them up here. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more controlled than I have been doing. I think there's one more around here. Oh, never mind, it's a bunch. Okay. And what have we got here? This is where Diablo is, so we still need to pull the levers before we can open up that chamber. So let me see where that second lever is. Pulled one already. Might be around here somewhere. Alright, let me make some distance here between me and these guys. Ah, dude, it got blocked by the wall. I hate when that happens. I'm gonna have to go back to town here pretty soon and get some more potions. There's that other lever. I could use my telekinesis spell to hit it from over here, but it's really no point, honestly. Just wanna make sure I clear out everything, anyways. Hopefully, I can get a level or something before I fight Diablo. a couple potions, put this one over here. Alrighty. And there was a jewelry drop over here, wasn't there? Let me find it. God, it's so hard to... There it is. Okay. Nice little amulet. And it looks like this place isn't open yet. So I need to go find where the second lever is before I can come in here and open this one. So it must be up here somewhere. In this area. It's the only place I haven't visited. Alright, got a bunch of these blood knights down. Come on, man, really? This guy won't die. It's crazy. Stupid guys disappear away right- Oh my god. Big group here. Try to get some distance. Chain lightning is not too effective against these guys. That's why I'm not using it. All 
Alright, I got a Warhammer here, but it's got no stats, so it's kind of useless for me. Let's hit up the second lever here, hopefully pretty soon. We can get in there. It's like a big spiral here. Not really ideal for keeping my distance. I think we're okay. Doesn't seem to be any blood knights here. Just some advocates. Alright, spoke too soon. There's a few blood knights coming in. Let me get out of here. They kind of paralyze you a little when they hit you. It's kind of frustrating. Alrighty. Got all them down. Hunter's bow. I'll take that. It's got some stats on it. Now let's pull the second lever here. So now we've pulled three of the four. Or two of the four. We need to get two more. And then we can finally meet Diablo. Let me clear out this little area over here before I move on to the next lever, though. And in fact, I think I'm going to head back to town and buy some potions. Before I go anywhere. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll meet you guys back here in just a second. Let me go back to town. Okay, I am back. Adria had this Book of Bone Spirit here, this Elixir of Strength. So let's go ahead and get things started. Get my mana shield up. Let's go pull these final levers and fight Diablo. Should be exciting. Gotta clear out this little area first. I gotta kill these dudes. Let me chug a potion here. I don't want to die. Just need to clear out this entire area. Let me lure these guys out here so I can only have to shoot in one direction as opposed to four. Right. Keep chugging. And my armor is already about to break, which is really frustrating. It's because it's very low level armor. I'm only using it for the stats, but the durability on them is just complete trash because of that. It's very unfortunate. I might go back to town one more time to repair before I fight Diablo. Just to be safe. some advocates and I leveled up which is nice it's been a while since I leveled up man it's finally nice to do it again what am I 27 now okay put all that into magic as usual and looks like I've cleared everything here. Maybe just this one guy. Alright, here's the third lever. We'll pull that. And we got the fourth lever right here. We also got a Book of Gollum. Let me read this. So, I'm actually going to head back to town, just repair my stuff real quick, and then we'll pull this final lever and fight Diablo. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I'm all repaired. Let me change my spells up a little bit. I want to get my Holy Bolt and also my Firewall on hotkeys because I'm going to be using those spells against Diablo. My plan is to kill all his minions first, which is not the best strategy because really 
What you want to do is you just want to isolate Diablo and kill him. But I want to kill everybody, so I'm going to try to do that. Let's pull this final lever here. And everything is open. Should be able to fight him. The problem with Diablo is the spell he casts on you, it basically paralyzes you in place. And it makes it very difficult to do anything. So I'm going to try to kill his minions without making him angry and come out towards me. So I want to try to kill these guys first. Oh, and I forgot my mana shield. Ugh, oh, that would have been disastrous. It took me a while to realize my health was going down as opposed to my mana. So I'm doing this very slowly and patiently because I don't want to aggravate Diablo. I just want to kill his minions be before I even touch him or anything. I ran out of mana, which is stupid. I'm really not paying attention here. I should not be making stupid mistakes like this. I feel like I got a lot of minions, but I feel like that there's still a lot of them left. Still want to be careful. Alright, I heard some people dying there. That blood knight. Okay. Just want to take baby steps here. Alright, one more little step. There you go. The more minions I can get without aggravating Diablo, the better. And there he is. I just woke up the beast. So I'm trying to isolate him. I'm going to put him over here. Alright. And then let's do my firewall spell on him. And then... So I should probably get my back up against the wall so he doesn't send me flying like that. And then I'm just gonna let him melt away. I know it's kind of a cheap strategy, but it's just the best way to do this. Could also use my holy bolt, but there he is. He is dead. Just like that. Boom. That's the end of Diablo. The soul stone burns with hell fire as an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Fresh blood flows into your eyes and you begin to hear the tormented whispers of the damned. You have done what you knew must be done. The essence of Diablo is contained for now. You pray that you have become strong enough to contain the demon and keep him at bay. Although you have been fortified by your quest, you can still feel him clawing his way up from the dark recesses of your soul. Fighting to retain control, your thoughts turn toward the ancient mystic lands of the Far East. Perhaps there, beyond the desolate wastes of Aranak, you will find an answer. Or perhaps, salvation. So not the brightest idea, if ever you fight a demon in hell, and you take a stone from his forehead, 
Best idea is not to jam it into your own head. I would not do that. But that's what the hero here decided to do. Pretty interesting in his case. So that's the end of that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. It's been a blast recording it. We're not done yet. I want to do at least one more video in which I show all the other quests that you can get in the single player campaign. Because like I mentioned previously, you don't get all the quests in a single playthrough. It's kind of randomized a little bit. So we'll do that and then maybe I'll do a little bit of multiplayer as well. We'll see. So until next time, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe and I'll see you then.